Hello, good morning, greetings, how are you? I hope you are doing well. Today is week three and day number four. And today is a easy 10 kilometer run. But right now it doesn't really feel all that easy. I did have a pre-workout just because I felt like I needed it today. I'm probably starting to run too fast at parts, so... <sighs> just trying to bring it back down. My head's racing at the moment. Pardon me. So yeah, not going to be much in today's video. This is my first run back since the 30 kilometer at Maroondah Dam. <sighs> I'm just feeling really hot. Probably from the pre-workout. Probably didn't need it. Oh well. It's done now. At least it can help me shed some of that birthday weight. <laughs> <sighs> Maybe I should have recorded a video at Mr. Link. Yeah, well, got to enjoy things, can't record everything. So yeah. Three kilometres in, just seven to go now. And then we'll go from there. Morning. It's too soon. Hello again. Uh, not long ticked over the four kilometre section of the run. And I forgot to say, my back tattoo nearly completed. There's a big uh, portion of it now. I don't know if you can see from there. And I'm really happy with it. It's come along quite nicely, but I do need to uh, take it easy and let it heal and recover. Um, I'm supposed to do a 32 kilometer run this Saturday, <laughs> followed by an 18. I'm wondering if I can do it with no hydration pack. I'll do my normal loop of Tarolgan and just uh, have some gels in my pockets like my waistbands and shit that I've got like there that'll be interesting if I do there's plenty of I think there's little bits of water here and there if I can get through the 21 pretty good and then uh, what do you call it? Run the park run. And then... What is it? That'll be 26, then six more Ks. I could just keep repeating the park run. I'll go out and do Mandy's loop. Anyway, I just want to try and ease into this run. Even though I'm nearly halfway. <laughs> Just try and enjoy it. Bye. Not really feeling it for this run. For the um, YouTube video. I don't think this is going to make it up online. But that being said, I also need some more videos. I've got to work on my uh, Maroon to Dam one. It's going to take a while. I want to make that one really nice and special. They, I know they all should be, but... I felt really great after that run. And I still have the option to do a race review. So anyway, I've got just under a K to go. And then I'm done for today. So, for all... Have a great one. See you next time.
Bye. So, it's a little bit of a different video. I know I've had videos like this in the past, and I've deleted them. I haven't felt right putting them up online. Some, I've had some bad parts in a run, and that's granted to happen. And I don't know if it's the lack of videos that I've got ready to go up. I've got another race view view video for Marinda Dam that I'm going to work on throughout the week to have that up by Friday. But right now this is the easiest one I can do. And I just want you to know that not all these things are going to go well. Not every run is going to be perfect. Not every gym session is going to go the way you want it. Even in and out of programs, life and all that, things just get hard. And I think the idea is to not ignore it, to get to the point where you can see yourself doing better, taking things away from runs like this run in particular there's been so many where it's like I've had pre-workout before an easy run and an easy run needs to be easy a recovery run needs to be about recovery so I can take the fact that yes I've had pre-workout on this one I probably didn't need it it's just habitual it's like I wake up have a pre-workout get my shoes on go to the toilet about two times because it's almost like a diuretic, which is kind of why I like it. <laughs> but anyway, that's a different story. I think it's just about taking what you can from it. Like I've already said, this run felt horrible, felt crap. And if I don't have those runs, then I'm not going to appreciate the runs like today where... Yes, I still had pre-workout, <laughs> but it was a 16-kilometer run. It went smashingly well. I think I averaged, like, if you want statistics, uh, 16 Ks, an hour 25. I think I averaged 5 minutes 19 per kilometer. My heart rate was 140 average for the whole run. Um, and I got to see my sister at the front of her place with my niece as I ran past and that was like a good part of the run and then I realized I was running too fast so I slowed down but anyway that part awesome run and you need runs like today to let you appreciate it when things are going well and I think a lot of people can take that into their own life no matter what you're doing, it's like if you're not doing as well as you think you should be or you're not anywhere near where you want to be, you can work on that. Take the things that you want from bad situations and work on them. It could be health, could be finances, could be anything like right now, I think my health and fitness has gone freaking fantastic um, in terms of this training Yes, I had a bad run on this day, but that does not mean that I have not had a good week. Like, I didn't record the video of the 32k run. No, I did. Never mind. Anyway, <laughs> um, I didn't record today's run. I haven't done a lot of recording of runs. There's been the 30k run at Maroonda, 32k the week after it, and they've both gone really well. And like the park run yesterday, 10 kilometers felt like it was nothing for me. Even today, 16, it was easy and that's what it needed to be. But I'm kind of droning on a little bit here. I just want people to take what they can from bad situations and then you can move on from them and do the best that you can to... Make sure the next time you have a bad situation, maybe it's not going to be as bad and you'll be able to tolerate that some more. So I think this is going to be a very raw video, I guess. I've almost talked for as long as the running part of this video was gone. So for now, 
I want you all to have a fantastic night or day, whatever time you watch this, if anyone watches this, and just be easy on yourself. People have been telling me to be easy on myself for a long time and everyone needs that moment to realise shit is shit, <laughs> basically. But you can move on from it. I'm doing the best I can. I've had a highly productive day, 16k run, a shower, some yoga, walked chance, went shopping, had um, missing link for lunch, put the shopping away, I've cleaned the house, I've done two loads of washing, I've gone to the shops to get more socks for work because I just wanted some new ones and then I got some new tennis balls for chance, we played outside in the backyard for a little bit through the ball and now I've been playing Diablo I've had a lot of luck in the game and I've been able to get a few things ticked off in there so I've had a relaxing night I've had an I've done two loads of um meal preps as well so I don't have to cook all week that is fantastic it is a good day so on this day where I had this run, you probably wouldn't have told me that within a few days from that run, you would have a day like today. I probably wouldn't have believed you, but now I have. It's been very productive. It's only quarter past, no, it's quarter to eight. I'm probably going to have some yogurt, some fruit, some creatine maybe. I'm going to be going to the gym super early tomorrow. And tomorrow night, I've got a new body balance class at the gym. So, it's a good day. Not every day is going to be good. Everyone knows that. But, what a hell of a way to end the weekend. And with that, all of you have an awesome time, whatever time of day it is. Treat yourself to something. I'm looking forward to next week's 38km run. <laughs> Just so I can go to Miss and Link and stuff myself full of food. That's what I'm looking forward to. So for now, all of you, have a wonderful night. Again, weekend, day, month, year, whatever. Just have fun. Take it easy. Bye. Love you all. See you next time.